In this class of the tutorial for power course members, I want to convert a um, curve into a series of frames using that frame from lines component which I've explained before. So be sure to watch the video tutorial about this one. And as you can see here, I'm going to make a component which we can control uh, the number of divisions we have, we need, uh, basically the lines we need uh, on a curve. You can see that this is a freeform curve. So the length, for example, if it's like 60, uh, it's always going to be the same for this length. And even if the frames are rotating, the length, the inner length is going to be, uh, the path is going to be 60, okay? So I'm going to also explain this. In the tutorial, we can define a sine wave or not. For example, if I give it a sine, it's going to start from zero. Uh, maybe we want to reach like 80 degrees, which is really high. I'm going to increase the height so you can see. Okay, it's like uh, 60 degrees uh, for the middle of the curve and then it gets back to zero like that. You can always say 60 and zero. So it just goes like this. It starts with 60, goes to zero and goes back to 60 if you want to use a sine wave. If you don't want to just hit the false and you can see it's like going to start from 60 to zero on the curve. Uh, we can also use this uh, closed curve. So if I just give that to a closed curve, let's make this a little bit bigger. And increase the number and turn on the sign. So you can see it's really easy to produce a sign pattern on a closed curve. Increase the number and even thickness of the frames explained before. And then we're also going to talk about the height, which is obviously the height of the lines. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to start with a curve, uh, extract the lines, and finally we will produce the lines like this, which is going to be used uh, for the line input from the frame from lines, which be sure to watch this tutorial from YouTube and learn the step-by-steps. Uh, to convert those lines into frames. Okay, let's get started from scratch.